Well, let's see what Viking ass shit we can get into today. Get over here, dear. Oh shit. Ow. Alright. Now that's how Vikings start their day, killing trolls and shit. Man. What a morning. I don't know if picking berries is the most Viking shit you can do, but hey, we gotta eat. Here's some tin ore right here, which can be found along the coastline of the Black Forest. And we can smelt that down for tin once we can craft a smelter, which that's what we're trying to do today. But the resources we need to craft the smelter are found in burial chambers. So that's what we're trying to locate right now. Get the fuck out of here, bird. It's gonna be a little dangerous, but I'm gonna try and do it anyway. We wanna see if we can take out this gray dwarf spawn right here. And that's what it does. It spawns in enemies, but if we can destroy it, then we'll get an ancient seed from that. And we're gonna need three ancient seeds in order to spawn in the next boss. Oh, we got a brute right here. And one of these healer guys. All right, fuck it. We're out of here. We're just gonna get killed. We don't have good enough weapons to do this. Oh, we got some copper right here. I'm sure these guys are following me, though. Yeah, they are. Only a few of them. Let's see, we could... We should be able to take these guys out. Because I want to get this copper marked on the map. I also want to mine a little bit of it. Oh, yeah, block, bitch. Dead. Obviously, I crafted a shield last night. There was no way I was coming into the Black Forest without a shield. The wood shield is okay, but once we can get copper smelted down and tin smelted down, then we can make bronze, and we can start making some good weapons. So there we go. Copper. Marked it on the map. And let's just go ahead and mine a little bit of it, too. What the hell? Ooh. I forgot, fall damage uh, can take a lot out of you in this game. Just gotta be careful. This guy heals himself, and he also can poison you. Oh, the brute is right behind me. Oh, shit. That guy hits pretty hard. The healer is dead, though. Let's finish off this brute. Maybe we can get an ancient seed from killing him. Let's just finish him with the club. Oh, damn it. There we go. Oh, and there's an ancient seed. All right, now we need two more. There's a stone building up here I want to check out. These guys won't leave me the hell alone. This building is probably also going to be swarmed with uh, the gray dwarfs. Yep, here they are. This is good. But I want to see if there's a, a stone here that will lead us to the elder. Oh, here's some more copper. And there's the stone. Yeah, we need to read that. Ooh, even more copper. Shit, we gotta get all this marked on the map. Oh my god, look at all these motherfuckers. Um, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, this is not good. We can't be fighting all these guys. Alright, let's uh, go read this stone. So at least we know the location of the Elder. There we go. And uh, I know there's a chest inside that stone building too. I'd like to search that. And I also want to get the copper marked on the map. We could possibly take these guys out if we do it, uh, you know, a little at a time with the arrows. If we try and just stand there and fight them all with the club, then we're a goner. Nah, uh, you know what? Fuck it. Close the door. No one's home. Go away. I think that worked. Here's that chest. Got feathers, arrows, piece of amber. And our inventory is full. And it's getting dark. It's about time to go home. I say we open this door and make a run for it. Later, bitches. 
All right, we didn't get to mark the other copper on the map, but that's not a big deal. It's close by the other copper that we marked on the map, so we know to come back down here when we're ready to mine all that stuff. There is still more Black Forest down here left to search, but that's going to have to be for another day. At least we found the location of the Elder, and if you don't know, the Elder is the next boss that we have to fight. Got a skeleton chasing us, no big deal. Ooh, what do we got here? Little chest. Alright. Might as well deal with this guy then, so we can search that. Oh, Grey Dwarf. You know what? These two will fight each other. Let's kind of like back up a little bit. There we go. See the skeleton going after the Grey Dwarf? Yeah, let's get him. Alright. Now you have to die too, unfortunately. Thanks for your help, though. Let's grab all this stuff. Let's check this chest. Feathers, coin. Nice. Alright, home sweet home. Not a bad day. We covered a good amount of ground. There's definitely uh, some more to uh, explore down here on the southern part of uh, this island. And there's of course a lot more to explore up here. So we'll do one or the other tomorrow. Let me uh, repair our stuff and then get all this inventory put away. And uh, we'll pick things up in the morning. All right, it's a new dawn, new day. Let's close this door. We're going to go north today, northwest. See what's going on over here. We know there's uh, some black forest to the south, and there's some more um, area down there that we need to explore. We know there's some copper down there. Not sure if there's a cave. There might be. But either way, I figure best to go northwest this morning, open up more of the map, and uh, try and get a feel of just how big this main island is. There's a little house over there. This is all connected. All the same landmass. We'll make our way over there hugging the waterline because we need more flint. I only had a couple of pieces last night, so I wasn't able to make many more arrows. Well, nothing going on in there. Where you going, dude? As soon as I pull my weapon out, he runs away. This would be a pretty cool place to build. I see a lot of people building by the waterline. I guess once you get a decent ship, and uh, you open up more islands, and you kind of see where everything's at, it, it would make sense to build near a waterline. Eventually, though, I believe you can use portals. I don't know what you have to do. To unlock them though. I'm pretty sure that's like end game stuff. But it'd be nice to be able to fast travel around because uh, the world is pretty vast. And it can get pretty tiresome walking around everywhere. Feel like I'm fucking 16 again with no license. Look at this. This is um, where you summon a boss. This is the first boss. I guess there are multiple locations to summon in the boss. I mean, it's not marked on the map. Whatever. There's no real reason to fight the first boss again unless we want more of those uh, hard antlers. But I think the only thing we can use those for is the uh, pickaxe, which we can just repair. There's no reason to make more than one. Unless, of course, maybe we were playing multiplayer. So I'm not sure, like, what the point of fighting a boss multiple times would be. Because I don't even want the antler pickaxe. I want the bronze pickaxe. And we got a cave right here. Beautiful. This is exactly what we were looking for. Well, let's go ahead and mark it on the map, just in case we die, we can find it again. Just call it Cave. Alright, let's do it. Burial Chambers, I mean, that's what they're called officially, but they're caves. Let's be real. Now, the uh, torch will obviously help us see a little bit better down here. 
but I need to be using the uh, club and the shield. We're getting shot at. So I'll just edit the footage so it's not as dark so you guys can kind of see what's going on. Bitch. Get out of here. All right, I guess we're starting on this side. Let me just grab this mushroom first. The glowing mushrooms are pretty good. They're better than the red mushrooms. When our raspberry runs out, I'll eat one of these glowing ones. Nothing behind door number one. Let's check door number two. Oh, here we go. One of these cores right here. This is what you need in order to craft the smelter and the charcoal kiln. I believe we need five for each. So we're going to need ten of these cores total. If we want to craft both the uh, kiln and, and the smelter, which... Of course we want to craft both, because you need charcoal to run the smelter. And you need the kiln to make the charcoal. You gotta punch the tree to get the wood. You gotta get the wood to build the house. You know what I'm saying. There we go, number two. Alright, we need eight more. I think that's it for this cave. Yeah, just a small little one. That's alright. It's a start. Uh, you know what? I should, uh... Put an X over this. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's remark that. Call it cave, but I want to put an X over it so we know that we've explored it already. Get over here. You can't run, bitch. There's another one of those portals. I don't know if we're ready to take that on just yet, though. Oh, skeleton. Let's see. Are there more skeletons around? We can lead the skeletons down to the portal. Start a rumble. Oh, here's another cave. All right, this is more important. Let's just get in here. I don't think they can follow us into the cave. Oh, that brute just killed the skeleton. Whatever. Not my problem. All right, let's mark this cave. Again, just in case we die. Find our way back. Let's see what we got in here. Skeletons already. Get out of here. All right, we got three ways to go. Let's start on the right side. Here we go. Another core. Oh, some bones. Grab those. More bones. Another core. That's good. That's three total. There's another one. Get out of here, skeleton. Look at that shit. Four. One more and we can craft a smelter, but... Smelter's no good without a charcoal kiln, because you need the charcoal to run the smelter. The only other way to make charcoal that I know of is burning food, and that is just not a uh, good way to make charcoal. Got a chest in here, and some skeletons. Ah, oh, three of them. All right, close this door. Better let our health regenerate a bit. That's the one nice thing about skeletons. They just haven't figured out the whole mechanics of a door yet. They can use a sword and shield and a bow, apparently. But the door just throws them for a loop. They don't know what to do. Come on, holy shit, we're gonna get fucking killed here. Try that one more time. Die, bitch. Wow, that was rough. All right, grab these mushrooms. Let's check this chest. Ruby? That's nice. Some arrows and some amber. Let's see what we got here. Oh, shit. Close that door. That that thing in there, that spawns more skeletons. I don't know if we're ready for that. Oh, here's one. We got him pretty good. Let's see if we can get him killed. He's running away. Come here, bitch. Oh, my God. There's more. Oh, shit. Well, let's see. Hide him behind the door. We got to get out of here. Close that door. Fuck, man. I wish... We had a medical kit or something. Kind of sucks waiting around for your health to regenerate. Oh, there's a ghost behind this door. But there's more cores here. thing about ghosts is uh, they're vulnerable to bats for some reason. The skeleton's about to die. Let's see if we can take that skeleton out. Use this power. Again, the power makes our stamina drain uh, not as fast. Come on. Die, ghost. Ah. Alright, fuck it, we're running back there. I don't care. Naked, 
rain, lightning, nothing's stopping us. We're going to get our shit. Alright, here we are. Nothing can stop a determined Viking. Now, are we going to be able to grab our shit before the ghost and the skeletons kill us? That's the real question. Here we go. Grab everything. Oh, we couldn't fit everything. Why not? Well, let's uh, put our helmet on and our uh, rags here. Probably should have spent the time to craft some better armor, or some armor in general. Because I could have made like a leather tunic and leather pants, and instead I decided to just roll with my underwear. Um, whatever. We're doing okay. As long as we don't die again. I'm okay with one death per episode. Die, you bitch. Oh god, the arrows don't do much to the skeleton. They will hurt the ghosts, though. I probably should have been using arrows to begin with, right? Come on, just fuck off. Let's go, ghost. The ghost is almost dead. There we go. Arrows uh, do a decent amount of damage to it. Alright, let's get back in that room. Got some mushrooms. Got some bones. Here's another, here's a core. That's good. Ruby. Sweet. And uh, we already know where the Elder is. So, uh, oh shit, look at that. There's a second Elder. That's cool. I didn't know you could unlock multiple locations. I guess just like we found the other place to fight the first boss, I guess there are multiple locations to fight the different bosses. In terms of which one we'll go and fight the Elder at, I don't know. We'll make that decision at a later time. Let's finish, uh, fucking with this cave. There's another room over here that we avoided. The one that spawns in the, the skeletons. Our health is looking good. We can just bust in there and fuck them up. Oh, man, our club is about to break. Come on, then. Let's go. Get out of there. Oh, just die. Yes. All right, we broke the spawn. Look at this. Oh, man. Whole bunch of cores in here. Ruby? Sick. Uh, we already knew that location of the Elder. We got some coin, amber, feathers, and more arrows. Let's uh, drop the pig head in there and we'll take the feathers instead. I don't know what you use the boar trophies for, but we got enough of those back at home right now. All right, is that it for in here? Or no, there was a, there was another room too that we skipped out on. Yeah, in here. Come on now, ghost, give it up. There's another thing I bet you didn't know about ghosts. They're vulnerable to arrows. I mean, you would think the arrows would just go right through them, but you'd be wrong. We got in here now. Oh, just some skeletons. All right, that's it for this cave. Let's get the hell out of here, get back home. Oh man, it's daylight. It's like when you leave the movie theater and it's all bright out and shit. They put an X on that cave so we know we explored it already. And let's get back home. As much as I would love to continue exploring this part of the island, uh, I'm just gonna call it an episode before I get myself killed again. It's like I said, I'm okay with dying once per episode. I don't really want to do it any more than that. All right, there's the kiln. Now, we can throw a whole bunch of wood. Get out of here, bird. Into the kiln, let's go get it. And let's also get our ore. We can throw the ore into the smelter. Alright, that's gonna take some time. 
Let that work. And we throw the ore into this side of the smelter here. And then we throw the charcoal in the other side. And it will start smelting down. Now when the charcoal runs out, it will stop smelting. Obviously, and you want to just keep loading it up. What's nice about the smelter, though, is if the ore runs out, but there's still charcoal, it will stop burning. It won't just burn through the rest of the charcoal. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Valheim, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.